My name is Suzanne Bugue and I live in Red Lodge, Montana, one of the gateways to Yellowstone Park. I'm also part owner of our family farm in Weld County, Colorado, with oil and gas development since 1972. I am here as a member of the Oil and Gas Task Force of the Western Organization of Resource Councils to speak out in opposition to the EPA's pro proposed delay of its 2016 new source performance standards for the oil and gas industry. I appreciate the opportunity to give public comment as part of our democratic process. My father was born, raised, lived and died on our family farm in Weld County, Colorado. He farmed the land, raised livestock and also worked for the Soil Conservation Service. He loved the land, the air and the water and always worked to be a good steward of them. With the first oil boom in the early 70s in Weld County, my dad negotiated a lease on the farm, which included a setback for the farm's two houses and a provision for drilling activity only between November 1st and April 1st, so as not to impact his way of life, so he protected them. He wasn't aware of any other issues, such as leaking gases. Fast forward to 2017 and another gas boom, oil and gas boom in Weld County. With the original lease still in effect, our family has recently completed a new land use agreement for 14 horizontal wells with many more requirements to protect our family's health and lifestyle. The new land use agreement, we did not have to deal with methane issues because of the oil and gas development regulations already in place in Colorado. Our family will not have to worry about leaks of methane and associated dangerous VOC gases because of Colorado's regulations. With one of the planned drilling pads less than a thousand feet from my mother's home, this is especially important to me because my mother is on oxygen and very sensitive to air pollution. The last thing she wants to do is have to leave her home and move to another location because of the threat of leaks from the planned wells. Here in Montana where I live, we have no rules that directly address methane leaks from oil and gas wells. Despite the fact that we have had oil and gas development in this area for over 60 years, we have few regulations on how it is done. I have regularly attended our state oil and gas board meetings for over three years and have seen how developers take advantage of our lax regulations. We in Montana need the leak detection and repair rule to put us on a more level playing field. Going forward, we do not want to be a state developers come to because they know they won't have to follow the same industry standards set by other states. Uniform rules covering all states are essential. The regulations set by Colorado are very similar to the EPA rule. Implementation of the Colorado regulations did not result in a slowdown or decrease in drilling and are accepted as standard industry practices there. The cost to the industry has been minimal at most and in many cases has increased revenues to the country, to the company. Increasing tax payments and preventing the loss of valuable resources. Wyoming, our southern neighbor, has regulations similar to Colorado with similar results. It is unreasonable to allow new wells or modified wells to continue to leak methane when affordable leak technology is readily available. Oil and gas companies could co comply with the EPA's rule incredibly cheaply. By cutting methane emissions by 40%, the cost of production of every thousand cubic feet would only be increased by a penny. Any cost to the industry associated with the methane capture would be more than offset by the savings in health care for those living in areas of oil and gas development. It's unconscionable to allow an industry to risk the health and well-being of vulnerable populations such as children and seniors for a slight increase in profits. Also, consider the environmental costs. With methane having 86 times the warming power of carbon dioxide, it is a major climate disruptor. And we have already seen some of the costs associated with our changing climate. We can't afford any delay.